favorite of the series. Um, but all the clips were taken from like unreleased, um, like prison videos and prison interviews and all types of sort of stuff. And uh, basically, this director is just talking about how much of a deplorable human being. That's a direct quote. Deplorable human being he is. Um, and he's just he's just the most garbage human being on the planet. Um, has zero morals, no ethics. Just what for being a rat? No, it's he's... not just for that. It's for just it's the for the way he is, like just the way he talks to about people, talks to, you know, just everything he does is calculated. He is nothing about his image is who he is. Like he he's created well, no, this could... image of somebody, and all people think that's that all, all celebrities. Video. Well, that's I mean, and that's the funny thing. Like you're reading about it, and I'm thinking that's pretty much absolutely every. Not just celebrity. That's pretty much almost everybody who releases a tremendous amount of shit on social media. That's everybody. Nobody's showing their real life, you know? Well, no, of course not. That's why we have our show, because we do. <laughs> we don't, yeah, we don't my Facebook is fucking boring as shit. Yeah, ditto. Um, but it's real. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly yeah. just podcast stuff. And little videos of myself that I make and enjoy. Yeah. But yeah, so what? He's a character. Big fucking deal. And the other thing, apparently if, he's just, if apparently he's going to make... just a horrible person, though. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. He's Of course he is. He's famous. All famous people are terrible. <laughs> and just, if I if it's going to make my time in the joint easier, I'm fucking rolling on everybody for everything. Just so you guys know. <laughs> if, if it gets me a fluffier pillow or no ass sex or whatever... Then uh, yeah, you're all going down. So better hope I don't go to prison. <laughs> I'm right fucked if you go to jail. <laughs> you haven't done anything wrong that I can prove. <laughs> well, I'll stick with that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anybody like I'm fucking whatever. I'm in jail for a long period of time, and it's gonna suck. But it could be better if you join me. You're fucking coming in, buddy. <laughs> that goes for all y'all <laughs> You're all gonna be part of this motherfucker <laughs> If it makes it easier on me I have no problem sharing it with you That's oh, just man. smarts That's not ratting, that's smarting um, I have something that you I think you should look this up While I'm talking about it uh, to verify it, I've seen it on multiple different things. Um, <laughs> it's really making the rounds right now. I got um, my Harris County story up right now. Uh, well, you anyway, okay, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep okay. going. Um, a New York City public school, it says the East Side Community High School. The principal, uh, Mark Betterman, um, he sent out a um, a survey to white parents asking them to identify their level of whiteness. And they've made a, a listing of the eight white identities and Ooh. what each one is. So Please I have the adults. list here. What are the eight white identities? Okay. So it goes from the worst to the most woke. So on the worst side, it starts with the white supremacist. Oh, right? clearly. Their definition here on that is clearly marked white society that preserves names and values white superiority. Okay? Sure. Um, the next, as you're getting away from the worst, white voyeurism. This is, wouldn't challenge a white supremacist, desires non-whiteness because it's interesting, pleasurable, seeks to control the consumption and appropriation of non-whiteness, Fascination with a cu with with culture, example consuming black culture without the burden of blackness. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired of that accusation, but sure. <laughs> so basically, if you're a white person that listens to rap music, you are one step away from being a white supremacist. Yeah, well, it's that quote <laughs> that quote that's been going around. It it got real big recently. I forget who originally said it. Uh, there's actually disputes on who originally said it, but the quote is, everyone wants to be a nigger until it's time to be a nigger. Yeah. 
<laughs> Fuck. Um, um yeah. So, that that um, on that on that horribly racist podcast I did on YouTube where it was just they wanted me on so they could attack the white guy. Um oh oh girl dropped that on me. The one that was just insanely racist but <laughs> wouldn't admit it. Um but everything she said was horribly anti white. And then she did break down and finally I got her to admit she just wants money. Where's my check? I want money. Uh, so anyway, that was her big accusation about that kind of stuff. And like, they, they that accusation gets thrown out way too commonly. Like, yep, we I think we've all been accused of it. Well, you did it, so you can't really argue. But um, <laughs> I completely disagree that that's going on as much as people want other people to believe it is. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Sorry, keep going. Know. Number three. So number three, uh, white privilege. So if you are listed under the white privilege, you may criticize supremacy, but a deep investment in questions of fairness, equality, under the normalization of whiteness and the white rule, sworn goal of diversity. Um, okay, yes. <laughs> Uh, but I don't, I don't encourage it and I don't like it and I wish it didn't happen, but it does. If I, if I had my way, it wouldn't, but it does. And I don't control it. So I can't stop it. <laughs> no, I, I can't like, I wonder what would happen if you did. You're like, wait a minute. Are you just doing this? Cause I'm white. Don't do, don't do it. Um, that would cause so much shit with, with, in your life. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, it definitely sure. I guarantee there's there is white privilege. Sure, absolutely. Um, not so much in Canada because there's not really that much disadvantage in Canada. No, exactly. But uh, even across the board here. But sure, it exists. You know, when we had David Wright on the show and he was talking about how you know if we walk down the street, we're probably going to live. If he walks down the street, it's fifty fifty. If a cop stops him, yeah. That's true. That's that's white privilege. Do we do I benefit financially? No. Uh do I not go to jail as much? Yes. Are they making up crimes that aren't crimes and then just prosecuting colored people? No. That's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh man. What's um, number 4? Number 4, white benefit. That is sympathetic to a set of issues, but only privately. Won't speak or act in solidarity in solidarity publicly because benefiting through whiteness in public. Um, some POC are in this category as well. Yeah, that's I, so, I get the uh, COVID people uh, DMing me on Facebook like, I totally agree with you, but I can't say so. So any black person that doesn't agree with everything on this list, they are white benefit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, <laughs> this sounds ridiculous. Next one and is I white can... Yeah. I love that it's all or nothing. Like, it's like, you have to agree with everything or you're fucking one of them. Yeah. It's like, no, why can't I agree with part of it? Like, and you agree with some of it and we don't we're just a fucking this bullshit yeah absolutely um white confessional number five that is some exposure of whiteness takes place but in a way of being accountable to people of color after uh they seek validation from people of people of color okay are we talking like j-rock or like um from Trailer Park Boys, he's seeking validation that way, or just like no, he's white voyeurism. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, he he is one. J Rock is one step away from being a white supremacist, according to them, because he um, uses their image without because he's he's not black, so he's using their image, knowing that he is not going to be treated the same way as a black person would. Yeah, you know, it's like they did to Robert Downey Jr. with uh, Tropic Thunder, and 
you know, he was doing the blackface to show how bad doing the blackface was and how stupid it was. And he was that character to show the absurdity of that character. And he still ate shit for it. Yeah. Like, you can't do blackface. He's like, but I was doing blackface to, to show the world that you can't do blackface. And they're like, you just can't do blackface. I was like, fuck off. Fuck off is right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, number six, white critical. So white critical is take on board critiques of whiteness and invest in exposing, marking the white regime. Refuses to be complicit with the regime. Whiteness speaking back to whiteness. I do that all day long. I'm like, <laughs> every time something goes wrong, I'm like, fucking white people. Right? <laughs> I've been doing that for years. Sometimes I get funny. Sometimes I get a laugh. Sometimes I get terrible glances. You just never know. Um, on the on the res, it was always funny. Got me out of a lot of jams, actually. <laughs> no doubt it would have. <laughs> Eric, what are you doing? I don't know. Fucking white people. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay by my books. Have a smoke. <laughs> have a spam sandwich. <laughs> Love their spam. Fried spam. Anyway, okay, so we got, what, two more? Two more. Uh, so number seven, white traitor. Um actively refuses complicity names what's going on intention is to subvert white authority and tell the truth at whatever cost need them to dismantle institution that is eric and gord in a nutshell right there kind of i'm constantly thing. trying to thwart white authority <laughs> if there was some other authority that wasn't white in my life you know on a regular basis i would be thwarting that authority but it's just it just tends to be white people because I work in weird like white retail settings. <laughs> Not much you can do about that though. <laughs> but that's you just described us fully. I tell the truth at all costs, absolutely. Yeah. But it, it, you're only allowed to tell the truth as long as it's against white people. Oh, fair. Yeah, absolutely. No, we're not allowed to speak the truth about anything else. Only white people. That's what makes me the blackest of the Jews. <laughs> oh, man. That's um, how I identify. That's how I identify. <laughs> uh, number eight, so the most woke out of the group is the white um, abolitionist. Um, they are the ones that are changing institution, dismantling whiteness, and not allowing whiteness to reassert itself. So are they tanning like 18 hours a day? Um, just in their tanning booth trying to get the white off? Yes, and probably every time you walk down the street, you have to hand over all your belongings and money to a black person and apologize to them. That's fair. That makes sense. So, that makes sense. I, you should probably do that anyway, guys. Just yeah. so you know. Part of the pay it yeah. forward thing, just don't buy them a coffee. Just fucking give them all your shit and say you're sorry. <laughs> Oh, fuck. That would be, actually, that would be a really funny movement to do. Shit, I get in trouble talking about it, but if if everyone just did that, if everyone just every day walked up to every black person you found and just started handing them all your shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and just see how long it takes before they just fucking lose their minds. <laughs> just keep inundating them every day. We're so sorry, you're right, you should get reparations for everything all the time. Here, take all my stuff. No, take my stuff! <laughs> just forcing them at gunpoint to take all your stuff. There. Now you have everything. How much better is your life now? It wouldn't be much. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't make a lick of difference. Um, um, that would be a good <laughs> trick. We should have done that to native people a long time ago. I didn't. Who's talking? Shut up. What I love about this thing is they're saying that the administration has embraced anti bias training. Well, sounds to me like this entire thing is pretty biased. Um, yeah, just saying. Yeah. Um, um, <clears throat> across the board, with staffers forced to attend slideshow presentations denouncing the current culture's, culture's uh, paternalism and power hoarding while getting sued over Carganza's alleged creation of an environment which is hostile, hostile towards white people. Wait, what? 
So this, I don't get.